Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can install Font Awesome in our Angular application and how we can use those in our application. As you know, Font Awesome is a UI library which provides a lot of vector icons which can be used in our Angular application. There are two versions of Font Awesome available for our usage in Angular application. One is free version and another one is pro version which can be used by purchasing a subscription of that one. But free version is itself enough for our Angular application development or our requirements in our applications. The first thing which you need to do to use Font Awesome is we need to install that one in our application. To install that one in our application, you can use npm space install space at font awesome slash font awesome. As we are using free version, we are going to mention as iPhone free. And finally, as we need to share this one in our Angular application, once you press the enter, it will install all the necessary files required for this font awesome into our project. Once the installation is done under the node models folder, you can observe there is a new folder called at font awesome. Expand that one, then we need the CSS file, all.css file, which is under CSS folder, which we need to add in Angular JSON file. For that one, copy the relative path here and go to angular.json file, and here you can see there are styles which are mentioned in the JSON file. Here you add the font awesome styles as well. After these two steps, first one is installing the font awesome into your project, then importing the styles needed for this font awesome into your Angular JSON file, you are good to add the icons into your project. To add the icons, you can refer the font awesome official website. As I said earlier, there are a lot of icons which are available in this site. In the Font Awesome website, go to Icons. Here you can see there are different icons are available. Based on your requirement, you can add the icons. In the left side, you can see the categorization also, which help you to choose the icons based on your subscription. As I'm using free icons, I will choose only free icons, which I can add into my project. And there are subcategories also like solid. If you are looking for solid icons, you can choose that one or regular one. Or if you want a bit of lighter one, you can include only those icons by filtering those. To add any icon which you are seeing here, click on that particular icon. You will get the class related to that particular icon. As you can see here, this icon is defined within a class fa-apple-alt. To copy this code, just click on this code and go back to your editor. As I have created a separate component for this one, let me add the copied code here. Save this one and run the project. And go back to the browser, refresh it, and you can observe there is a small icon which is added into our project. That is nothing but the icon which we have copied from the font awesome. Currently you can see there is a smaller icon which is added here. You can do a lot of customizations like you can increase the size, you can change the color of this one, you can rotate it and add animations as well. In the later videos I am going to show you all those things here. That's it guys for this video. Thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on like button and share it to others.